Praise to you, O Christ. Today we continue our meditation with Pope Francis, his collection of small reflections against war, building a culture of peace. We have accumulated weapons and lost the peace. This is the title of this piece, Brief Meditation. We have strayed from the path of peace. We have forgotten the lessons learned from the tragedies of the last century, the sacrifice of the millions who fell in two world wars. We have disregarded the commitments we made as a community of nations. We have betrayed people's dreams of peace and the hopes of the young. We grew sick with greed. We thought only of our own nations and their interests. We grew indifferent and caught up in our selfish needs and concerns. We chose to ignore God, to be satisfied with our illusions, to grow arrogant and aggressive, to suppress innocent lives and to stockpile weapons. We stopped being our neighbors' keepers and stewards of our common home. We have ravaged the garden of the earth with war, and by our sins we have broken the heart of our Heavenly Father, who desires us to be brothers and sisters. We grew indifferent to everyone and everything except ourselves. Now with shame we cry out, Forgive us, Lord. The Pope shared with us these thoughts on the 25th of March 2022 as the act of consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. It's a very powerful call to repentance and to see ourselves where we are nations entrapped in the ignorance of God, in our greed and our illusions. If we read between the lines, we can understand why the Pope also mentions that we grew arrogant and aggressive and we suppressed innocent lives and stockpiled weapons. Before a culture or nations go on war, it is aggression, exactly this aggression, which, uh, which is increasing underneath the surface. The Pope calls us in this land to see how aggressive our culture is, how all the filters which could remove, detect and remove this aggression and violence uh, are removed, 
how vulnerable we are to the emergence of the death drives, to use Freud's uh, terminology. And the Pope also mentions weapons, the stockpile of weapons. It is just uh, heartbreaking to see that in the midst of growing international tension, when this violence and hubris is just uh, uh, at the level of our throats, of our politicians, that still countries invest into weapons, new nuclear submarines and deterrent weapons. It is heartbreaking, breaking. We can even uh, indeed cry out with the Holy Father, now with shame we cry out, forgive us, Lord. And if you refer back to our reading, first reading, and the Gospel itself, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verses 5 to 9, and the Gospel of St. Matthew chapter 5, verses 17 to 19, these two readings are about the nature of the law and God's commandments. These laws, particularly in the background, uh, against the background of war, so how different God's ways are, how counter-cultural, how counter-mainstream the Christian Gospel and the Old Testament itself are. And it is really uh, worth paying attention to this meditation that it was shared with us on the 25th of March as the act of consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. If we have a look at our icon uh, on our screen, it's in the bottom uh, right hand corner. Uh, we can see that Jesus is pointing to Mary while being held in her mother's, on her mother's lap, that that aggression which is gathering and piling up in our society, it is under the surface. And this is the realm of uh, death drives, to use again Freud. The real counterpoint and counterbalance of these death, dri death drives is the maternal care of Mary, which should be the air, the atmosphere of our lives, which we are breathing in and out. And instead, in the context of the war between the yellow blues and the blue-white ones. We are just breathing in and out violence. Let us drink our Lord's blood and eat his body as our nourishment and sustenance in thinking clearly and in a different way.